Hi friends, I am Melissa and today I have something very, very, very exciting to share with you. I received a sneak peek, a little goodie box of the new collection from Sorella Yarn, which is a collaboration with Two of Wands. So this is the Autumn in New York collection and I did take a little sneak peek inside the box. But as soon as I started opening it, I was like, hang on, hang on. I have to do this on camera because it is so good and I didn't even finish opening it all yet. So I didn't want to touch it too much because it's so perfect inside and I'll show you that in a second. Um, so we'll be experiencing this together as I open it. Um, you should know, I will include links to everything in the description box, but this collection launches Friday, August 26th at 8 p.m. Eastern time, and usually Sorella's collections are open for about 24 hours where you can pre-order whatever you want, and then it's closed, like closed, closed forever. So if you wanna grab something from this, be sure to shop on Friday, August 26th at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And after that, um, Sorella usually has monthly collections, so you can always stop back and see what she has launching next. Okay. <sighs> Here we go. First of all, look at the box. It's beautiful. Um, all the packaging is so thoughtful and it only gets better once you start to open it. So hopefully I won't tip anything out of here, but just to show you like a peek on the inside, um, the inside of the box is just as gorgeous. There's this beautiful design up here. And then this flap here is where you get to the goodies. So let me, again, try not to spill anything here. But this is what the inside of the box looks like. So I'm going to pull things out one by one and we can walk through together what they each are because if you know Sorella and Sorella yarn, it's not just yarn. It's an entire experience and this box hits on a lot of their main products that people love. So some of these are new to me. Some of them I'm familiar with and I already love so let me just show you everything first of all there's an adorable little postcard inside it's a little thank you note from Ashley who is the woman behind it all she also works with her husband CJ her sister Brooke um, and a lot of different yarn fairies that help make this happen so we love her we love the brand and of course this entire collection is a collaboration with Alexi from two of wands who I'm also a huge fan of um, so it's just so cool to have this in my hands and be able to share it with you. Okay, we are going to get started. Let's see if I can set this down nice here. We are going to get started with the tea. So I'm a huge tea lover. I love tea. I should have brought scissors as I sat down here so I could smell these, but I think I can open them up and give you my first thoughts right here, right now. So she sent two of their pearl teas, which these are a collaboration with Tay Bella, or maybe it's Tea Bella Tea Company. Um, I've ordered from Tay Bella before and they're absolutely wonderful teas. So I have no doubts that these are going to be just wonderful smelling. Okay, I should have gone in with scissors. <laughs> I should have used scissors. Um, but we got it open, so I can already smell how good this one is. This one is Fall Festival. So it's black tea with cinnamon, um, cloves, caramel, pumpkin sprinkle flavoring. Oh, that's really nice. Wow. That, you guys, she nailed it. I don't even know what to say. It's exactly what you think. It's the perfect blend of those, those fall spices, a little bit of pumpkin, it smells absolutely wonderful. And now I'm going to try, I'm going to try and tear this one open better, but we'll see. This one is apartment. Um, it looks like it has the valerian root, um, cardamom, cardam you guys know what I'm trying to say. Um, fennel, licorice, strawberries, spearmint, rose extract, rose petals, and orange oil. This should be a nice little blend. Okay, once again, if you have scissors handy, it might be worth it because I'm just, this is how I open everything though. I, I just tear into it. Okay, this one. Oh, oh, that is very nice. It smells very like refreshing, but calm. Like I think the spearmint smells like very refreshing and nice. 
but like you can definitely tell the the rose and the orange make it very calm and nice this is a nighttime tea i think this sounds really really yummy and this one doesn't have caffeine in it so i always love that okay moving on um our next food item is the maddie and may's fancy popcorn this is the chocolatey churro flavor i've had maddie and may's popcorn before i've had probably four different flavors the chocolatey churro is my favorite hands down it is so delicious it's incredible make sure you get yourself a bag of this because it is just so good and i'll show you what it looks like i'm not going to eat it here on camera because you know what i did really good on opening this one okay so um i'm not going to eat this in front of you but just to show you like what this popcorn actually looks like it's like a cinnamony popcorn and then it has like a chocolate drizzle it is divine it's so good okay don't mix it with your yarn though because you know you're gonna want to wipe off your hands first so those are the sweet treats and snacks and next in my box i'll show you we can see the yarn now so exciting um I'm going to dive into the wool wash and the hand cream because I have seen so many people talk about these. I've never tried them and I have been so curious about them. So I'm really excited. So this is the wool wash. Wool wash. It comes in this cute little box. It gives you instructions on the side, which it looks like it just, you know, pretty standard as far as wool washes go, where you put in a tablespoon or potentially more if it's a larger item. You soak it in, um, you soak your garment or item in cool water with, you know, a tablespoon or however much wool wash for about 15 minutes. And then um, you don't need to rinse it out or anything. You just block it to dry. So love that. Love an easy, low maintenance wash. Okay. Packaging, 10 out of 10. So cute. So it comes in this little bottle, which is adorable. This pretty gold top. And I got sweater weather. Ooh, okay. Hang on, we might have to go all the way in to open this. Okay, yes, it is sealed, which is a you know, good thing when you're mailing stuff. But I can't get a scent until I open this. Oh. That is nice. It smells like, I'll have to look at the um, descriptions that Sorella posted again, but this one smells like, almost like a really, really good perfume or like a really good, like a high-end department store type of smell, like that type of New York smell, which is really, really nice. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. That smells very like elevated, elegant, like fancy. Like it's something I would want on if I was going somewhere. And I could definitely see myself using this type of scent year round. So that is also really nice. Okay, love that. Obviously, I'm not going to block a project right now with it, but I'm sure it's wonderful. I can't wait to use it. Okay, now I'm busting open the hand cream because I'm so excited. I love a good lotion. Um, trying to be gentle. I got the box open without ripping anything. That's good. Okay. So this is Brooklyn. Again, there's different scents for the hand cream too. I don't remember which one this is. Like based on there's like a different description for each scent. So we'll see. Wow. These are really good. I don't know why I'm so, I was not sure what to expect and they just feel very sophisticated and fancy. Like, again, this is like department store, but I just feel like it's very like grown up and elevated and it's, it's just really nice. I would wear this one year round too. Okay. I'm just going to take like a little bit from the, the little seal here and see once I rub it in. Oh, it's very lightweight. I only put a little bit on. It smells really nice. Okay, these are great so far. I'm just loving everything. This box has made my week, you guys. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, now it is time for the yarn. The moment we've all been waiting for. The yarn, of course, 
is the biggest thing that Sorrel Yarn is known for. And Ashley and her team do a phenomenal job at the colorways and each collection. It's just so intentional and I love that. Okay. Okay, so exciting. So these are the yarns I was sent. I'm gonna take them all out so we can get a good look at them. I don't know the colorway names, but it does look like they are all the nylon sock base, which is 80% superwash merino wool, 20% nylon, 400 yards each, and a yarn weight one, which is fingering weight. Um, Sorella's, sorry if that was loud as I was talking. Sorella's um, sock base, which let me make sure, this is nylon sock, is a two ply which is my favorite, 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 favorite fingering weight yarn base is two ply. I love the way it looks. I love the texture. I love the way my stitches look in crochet. I love everything about it. So I'm really, really excited that this is a two ply. Other plies are also gorgeous. I just personally love a two ply base. That's all. Um, okay, so I have four colors here. <laughs> look how beautiful they are together. I love them. Oh my gosh. Wow. Let's just look at them. I couldn't even pick a favorite. I love them all so much, but let me tell you which ones they are. This one is theater. Wow. Look at that. Stunning. Stunning. And if you didn't know, Ashley and the team did a custom label for this collection. So this is actually a little graphic of Alexi from Two of Wands. So cute. Um, theater is, okay. Ugh. I don't know if it gets better than this. I mean, look at the color I'm wearing. It's very similar. I love this color. I feel like it's so flattering. You can wear it in any season. And you can see kind of the hand-dyed look of this, which I think again just adds that extra element of sophistication and beauty to any project. I adore this. Um, and if you've been following me for a long time, you know I love avocado dyeing. And this color is very reminiscent to me of those beautiful earthy pinks that you would get from avocados. But this is like the perfect shade. Whereas when you dye with avocados, you don't exactly know how it's going to turn out. It depends on your water and the avocados and other factors and this I feel like is the perfect shade that I would be going for. So I, I love this. Again, this is theater. Next I have Nolita, which look how beautiful those pair together. So we'll just look at Nolita by itself. Um, it's like a beautiful soft taupe. You can see those different shades in there with kind of like a natural creamy color. And then we have those beautiful pinks coming through too. I, wow, that's stunning. That's just gorgeous. Again, I would wear this in any season. Looks so good on anybody. Okay, Nolita. Next, this one is Townhouse which is really just your perfect neutral. I think it can go with any color in this collection. And I wrote it down. I thought I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's 20 colorways in this collection and 13 bases. So you can get different yarns on different weights. You can get tonals, you can get variegated. Like there's so much in this collection and so much variety, but yet it all looks beautiful together, which is just the magic of Sorrel yarn. I think this is so well done. So what did I say? Townhouse? Townhouse. Um, if you have yarn in your stash that maybe it's hand dyed or you don't know what to do with, I could see Townhouse being that perfect colorway to round out another project. Or if you have something else that you just kind of need a neutral to like tie it all together, Townhouse, I would just put in my stash just to keep it because you know that you'll reach for something like this. This color is magic in any season and I think in person it's maybe it's maybe a shade darker than what it looks like on camera it's it's just perfectly soft and neutral and beautiful I love it okay last one I was so curious about this one and I am like so excited to have it in my hands because it's even better in person it is newsprint 
Newsprint is beautiful and speckled. It has kind of a similar base as Townhouse where it has that soft kind of warm neutral. You can see a little bit of like the taupiness in it there. So it's not like a stark white or it's not like a yellow cream. It's just a very, very nice neutral color. And then it has black speckles, which Ashley explained in her stories on Sorella Yarn that Black dye is made up of other colors. So ultimately when it spreads out or when you see it on different bases, it may appear a little bit more blue just because the black dye is probably does have blue in it. And Sorella said that a lot better than I did, but hopefully that kind of makes sense. Um, so this is newsprint. I absolutely adore this colorway. Again, you could put all these together or you could stash some of them. You could make a whole project with just a single color, even, oh, I love, I love them all. Um, or you could just hang on to in your stash for a little bit. And I think all these are so like unique yet neutral that you could really keep them and pair them with all different yarns that you already have in your stash, or if you just get a variety from this collection. So that was everything opening up for my box, but I did have to say, if you're still with me here, as soon as I peeked in the box, I didn't take these out until just now, but as soon as I peeked in these three colorways in particular reminded me of something that I made a few years ago. And ironically, I actually made the pattern with Sorella yarn when she was called Handmade Home Fibers. This was like several years ago when she was just starting out. And I want to show it to you because if you need a project and you like these three colors, I have it for you, okay? This is my Amble shawl that I made a few years back. It's one of my favorite shawl patterns, and I used avocado dyed yarn for this. Um, so the avocado dyed yarns that I used are this dark section here, this kind of earthy pink, and then this um, lighter pink here was also avocado dyed. And then the yarn that I used from Handmade Home Fibers, which is now Sorella, was this colorway, which was called Cereal at the time. And I, I still love the colorway, but it has some of that pale pink in it, um, some speckles, and the whole thing came together so beautifully. I just, I love this shawl so much. Um, so when I saw these three colors, I mean, like, they're like made for this pattern. They're beautiful. And the pattern uses um, three skeins of fingering weight yarn. So literally, this is exactly what you need. Three skeins of fingering weight yarn. And I just thought that was like such a sweet full circle moment that I was like, wait a second, I designed a pattern with Sorella yarn a few years back. And the yarn I just received is so stunning and complimentary to the pattern. Um, so I wanted to make sure that you knew about that. And then I also had a couple other patterns in mind that I saw with these yarns if you need some inspiration. So when I saw newsprint, I immediately, immediately thought of my Pebble Cardi. The Pebble Cardi uses worsted weight yarn and it's a really fun speckly yet neutral cardigan that's perfect for beginners. And it was my first sweater pattern really and so I always love that one it's still so popular and I will link all these patterns below if you want to look into them more um this one if you want to make something smaller would be amazing for my scout kerchief pattern I love that it's a very small but mighty little kerchief and this color would be perfect and what is this one again theater love it Next, um, I did want to mention another pattern I've made with Sorrel yarn before is my vintage flannel beanie. Um, this one I wear all the time. I've had it for a couple years, so it we've been through a lot together. But the vintage flannel beanie actually used Sorella's vintage flannel colorway, and this pattern uses one skein of worsted weight yarn, and it is perfect for those colorways that are very colorful or very variegated and you need like a simple pattern that's going to show them off really well so this is again the vintage flannel beanie if you see some of Sorella's um variegated or I think they're called poured colorways I could be wrong but you know what I'm talking about um this pattern the vintage flannel beanie would be perfect 
And then if you like minis or if you are trying to pair these with odds and ends from your stash, um, you'll, there's a plane, okay, there's a plane flying over. We'll just disregard that. Maybe you didn't even hear it, but there was a plane. Um, so if you're looking to pair yarn from your stash, if you have odds and ends lying around, or if you wanna pick up um, one of Ashley's mini sets, she has sets of 10 different tonals of this collection. And then she also always has seasonal tonals. Um, my venture shawl pattern would be perfect. And I have a new pattern coming out that's going to be called the Minnow Throw, and it will be coming out very, very soon. If you're on my email list, you'll hear about it very soon. Um, and that, those two patterns would be perfect for lots of minis or mixing and matching lots of colors. So this is just perfection. Um, I think I included all the details about the collection, but if not, I will link everything in the description box. And I just want to say the biggest thank you to Sorella Yarn and the whole team. Um, this was by far the best box I think I've ever gotten of yarn in the mail. I've gotten a lot of yarn in the mail, but just the packaging, the presentation, the goodies, it's its truly magical. And she's done something really special with her company. So go check it out. And until next time, that's it for now. Bye.